for the scalp of every male Indian enemy above the age of 12 years produces evidence of their being killed, we offer a bounty of $100. For the scalp of every Indian woman and children produces evidence of their being killed, the bounty is $50. This isn't any horror story. It was a decree issued by the U.S. government in 1814. From the late 15th century to the early 20th century, the total population of Native Americans plummeted from 5 million to 250,000. While lecturing other countries under the pretext of human rights, what despicable deeds have the U.S. done in its own backyard? The skin of Iroquois is perfect for making boot tops. We must extirpate all Indians. An Indian should be executed every 10 minutes. The only good Indians are the dead Indians. These are the incisive remarks on human rights made by what Americans call the four greatest presidents in American history, also the country's preeminent democratic leaders. American Indians are the oldest inhabitants of the Americas. The arrival of 105 Englishmen in the early 1700s marked the beginning of British colonization in North America, which is also when the nightmare began for Native Americans. It was mentioned in the book A History of Infectious Diseases and Microbial World that before the founding of the United States to seize the land and resources of Native Americans, European colonists took blankets used by smallpox patients and gave them to tribes of Native Americans. At least one million natives died directly or indirectly from the variola virus that was deliberately spread by the colonists. In 1830, the U.S. government passed the Indian Removal Act. Through forceful removal and fraudulent coercion, the U.S. government forcibly relocated 100,000 natives to remote and confined reservations. A large number of Native Americans died along the way. Build a fire under them. Will it get hot enough? They'll move. <laughs> you Indians, get out of here! Buffalo has been central to these cultures for hundreds of years. And the buffalo provides everything. It's not just food, but it's everything needed for everyday life. To get rid of the natives more quickly, in the 19th century, the Americans launched a mass slaughter of American bison. The American bison population declined from nearly 16 million before 1800 to 5.5 million in 1870 and then to less than 1,000 in 1889. After the 1990s, the U.S. pursued eco-colonialism. They buried nuclear waste, industrial waste, and other hazardous waste in Indian reservations through deception and coercion, causing severe environmental pollution and the death of a large number of Native Americans. Eventually, Native Americans went from being the owners of the land to a minority group of less than 250,000 people. They took everything from us. America is built on stolen lands. America is a stolen country. In an effort to erase the culture and identity of Native Americans, in 1879, the first boarding school for American Indian children was established in the U.S. These children were forbidden to use their own languages, forced to separate from their family, change their names, and give up their traditional dress. More than 350 boarding schools like this were established throughout the U.S. In 1925, the number of children attending American Indian boarding schools reached more than 60,000. These children were subjected to forced labor, corporal punishment, militarization, and other physical and mental abuse. Thousands of American Indian children became ill and even died in these boarding schools. I've had a older white men come up to me and say, oh man, if this was 40 years ago, I can just do whatever I wanted to. The Americans have been chattering on this land that does not even belong to them, all while touting to the world that this stolen land is theirs. This is no different from a rogue bandit. 